Hi, I'm Light and this is uh, a freestyle general eagle eye overview and let's start with the file uh, I prepared this model roughly and before we actually show the freestyle result I need to show you uh, what is we the, this render without freestyle Okay, this is the result of this render <coughs> pink and green very nice and uh, in blender you you have this uh, you activate freestyle here through the freestyle button activate it here and uh, you get this so freestyle is actually a post process like at render so it is not real time it is post process and it is very similar to pencil plus uh, which costs around 400 us dollar and will require you to have a 3d studio max uh, to to use pencil plus is a plug-in for 3d studio max uh, it costs roughly uh, 3D Max will require you, you roughly 1.5k annually for renewal license and annually if you can see to do 3D line art uh, using Pencil Plus is a big cost but Freestyle works almost the same to Pencil Plus it, uh, the settings mimic uh, pencil plus settings very well and next view map view map when you activate freestyle it this the settings do not pop up under it why because it is uh, first one view map where this, the information where freestyle is stored is only available in the render layer meaning one render layer only has one view map and the setting for freestyle is uh, there's three panels here uh, it looks quite uh, scary at first but <coughs> the logic is very simple uh, number one is this this freestyle panel is for uh, the view map uh, options for one view map you can these options are only one uh, okay your crease angle on you only can set crease angle per view map culling or face smoothing per view map you can also have uh, the advanced option which is too advanced we will not touch that then you for line selection you use line sets uh, for each line sets you can have one line style for example line set line set line set here has one line style line here and if I switch to another line set you will have another line style uh, for this render in this line set you actually select select which line to to render uh, there are the selection either by visibility which is visible hidden and qi range edge type which is uh, the most used part here uh, face marks or group or image border uh, next part is how do you use the edge type this is a uh, best introduction so silhouette edge type if you render right now we will get nothing uh, let me see what did I did wrong here mm. okay I turn on face mark and group <coughs> okay here uh, this part for silhouette you get the outer edge and the part where you have some depth for example here and here uh, this is actually one mesh so 
when they step you can see a bit the silhouette line and then we will go to crease crease is mostly the hard edge angle like here uh, you can you can see that there are missing lines on this edge that is set in this crease angle settings as well when I set 160 degrees uh, you, you will get the line back okay let's move to another line type edge type uh, border border is the open edge on a mesh uh, very self-explanatory so it's quite easy edge mark is the mark edge which you mark on a surface for example let's jump to edit mode and see this line we edge mark it with uh, the edge we already edge mark so for an, let's try to set one up oh, let's see you first you select the edges and then you go to edge menu go to mark freestyle edge when you render you get the extra lines and you also can mark other places like that and you can select uh, the edges on the surface to be rendered if you want to get rid of it you use clear freestyle edge here and you get back the original so we covered the most basics the rest are a, a, a bit hard to use but the most basic four is these four edge types and we are done with edge type we move to the line style line style is where we do a lot of uh, line styling for example this line already has uh, color change and we have also uh, other parameters like uh, stroke alpha thickness geometry and texture they are fairly easy to understand but the settings we in it is uh, more elaborate because it covers a lot of uh, line styling and different usage uh, for stroke you either do chaining uh, line splitting, line sorting, uh, line selection or you can also do dash lines like this so this this setting is actually dash 1, gap 1, dash 1, gap 1, dash 1, gap 1 if you set 2 you have 2 only options there ok next for line color we have uh, the best setting here best color and we also have uh, the line modif modifiers uh, this uh, color modif this will change the color and alpha also similar you can for example if I lower this alpha you the render will get a bit uh, can blend better to the background and we have uh, a lot of different alpha information right here for example like this the, uh, alf these modifiers can change a lot of your line renderings for example like this uh, and then you have thickness thickness the modifiers are the same the best thickness is here what you see right now is uh, only 3 pixel thick and the modifiers are uh, right here and let's see the extra modifiers here compared to color and alpha is the calligraphy one this this one here uh, if you have you need a bit of uh, curve to actually preview this <coughs> and then in the geometry tab you have the geometry modifiers this actually change the shape of the line okay let's set the sample to one and do uh, one simple version is 
like this we add some spatial noise and we get wiggly lines like this uh, and we can also do something like where is the backbone uh, backbone stretcher we can extend the lines uh, this is geometry often used with uh, chaining if you turn off the chaining you will get a lot more lines like this uh, next is texture okay, let's turn this one off texture is you set a texture on top of the lines but you you're normally you need a uh, thicker lines to do this you, when you set that you will jump press that button you jump to the line style line style texture you can add a line style a, a, a texture you can use or uh, open a new texture which I don't want to show here because this process is quite elaborate and then you choose the mapping method normally a long stroke or generated or normally either you use long a long stroke which along the stroke then if you use along the stroke you have the uh, other option for tips and then <coughs> you map it either use color and alpha normally you use uh, the band mode multiply to do it and you can change the color here R and that is the extreme basics for uh, uh, for freestyle freestyle panel and the general thing that you see in freestyle is you think one render layer as a view map then when pre freestyle do the calculation it starts with loading the mesh then it do line selection uh, which is <coughs> the line set here the line selection is line set then it do uh, for do uh, put some styling on the line which is the uh, line style line style panel either stroke color alpha thickness geometry or texture and normally this is what freestyle do all the time okay when you are doing modeling for freestyle or set a model freestyle most of the time you will be doing the modeling part 90% of the time uh, and roughly 10% of the time you will only dabble with freestyle settings this means that you need to in order for you to master freestyle uh, you need to learn to model and that modeling is actually based on these line types so you your your model will be the your modeling will use a lot of these line types uh, understanding a geometry understanding to to model for freestyle and then uh, to get really learn fast in freestyle you need to actually you can purchase this uh, freestyle level up and in on <coughs> blender P npr store and this course is uh, very dense very fast and will show you not only the freestyle setting and it also shows you uh, the workflow the thinking process how to manage your scenes uh, and what kind of pitfalls and how to solve them and that is uh, uh, is uh, the the course is uh, written by me and uh, and co-produced with uh, Liposi so you can ensure that we know a lot of things about freestyle from the technical part into the cult realm of freestyle where we talk into very detailed settings which you can use and for this course is uh is uh, done roughly almost two years ago but the because freestyle setting do not change very much we the course is still very relevant today 
only the only thing that you see is the blender <laughs> version is different but how it works paradigm we use is still similar to today there are few new settings but those new settings we or we include in the uh, free tutorials uh, which are available on blender ntr.org and uh, I think that's it have fun with freestyle and this has been an overview of uh, freestyle settings and how uh, freestyle works